Okay, we're back. So, crisis averted. I almost burnt the whole thing because I knew I couldn't go to sleep because I had it on high. And um, Michael was sleeping, so I went outside for a little while. And I was sitting in my rocking chair and fell asleep. So, actually, I almost drank the whole dog on dinner. But it was crisis averted. It's okay. I managed to work it all out. So now what we're doing is we're going to... Michael, will you get me look up in that cabinet over there and get me one of my little bowls? We're going to slice some red onion just like this. Which one do you want? This little red one? Maybe, maybe the white one. But, no. The, the Wait, stop. The one you have in your hand. The white. It's red on the end. Uh, that one. one. I want to say red, but... So we're just slicing this red onion. Now this red onion I had in the refrigerator. I had bought a brand new one, but we're gonna use what we got. See how I'm slicing it into the little strips like this? Then, I know I'm sitting, because if I don't sit, you won't be able to see the top of my head. No holes in that chair? I know. So we're going to put these little onions in here. We're about to make a sauce, too. A sauce? Yeah. Um, we need to chop up some parsley. And what do you call this? Egyptian shawarma. Egyptian shawarma. Beef shawarma. It's like Egyptian beef shawarma. Alright, let's chop up some parsley. <laughs> this in with those onions. We're going to put some in our pot. Mm. That's good. But we're going to put a little bit in there with our onions. And then we're going to reserve some of this to go back in our meat. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our onions and kind of smash them around in here. Just to get out some of those juices. Kind of like a salsa. Teaspoon of salt. Whoops. Where's my little measuring spoon I got out? There she is. This is, I, I actually, we're going to do half a teaspoon of salt. I wrote it down so I wouldn't. And one teaspoon of the sumac. This is that Greek seasoning I was telling you about, or Middle Eastern. Now, this is a fourth of a teaspoon measuring spoon, so I'm going to do this four times. Okay, we're going to mush all that up together. So, 
so you can cry. Ooh, cross is so warm in here. <laughs> oh. I say if you chew gum, it doesn't do that. You want some gum? I'll take some more paper towels. All right, now I'll turn the heat off my stove, but we're gonna add about, I'd say about half of this to our meat and just kind of let that cook for a minute. Not on high. All right, let's let that heat up a little bit. I'm super paranoid about burning it now, so I'm gonna add just a little, Bit of water. Uh -huh. All right, let's make our sauce. Oh God, those onions got me. All right, let's see. I wish I had more counter room. All right, now we're gonna need some Greek yogurt, which I just bought yesterday. And meant to get out. Michael. Here it is. Yeah, Got it. We've got to keep an eye on our meat. And you're going to use about a, eh, about a fourth of a cup. No, I'm sorry. Three fourths of a cup. This is a fourth. So, three. So this is three fourths Greek yogurt. We're gonna do the juice of half a lemon. Now this is the lemon that I um, zested, so we're just gonna use that one. Somebody wants to know if they can see the meat cooking for a second. I guess you can bring. Yeah, the skills I'm gonna bring it over to you. I know you're going to be like, what happened to all of it? Well, I had a little, almost accident. We're going to do about a half a lemon. <laughs> what? No. I'm laughing at you. Not to, not to That's what it looks like so far. You see how that uh, jalapeno cooked down to nothing? You can't even hardly see the tomato. There's a little piece of it. But it just cooked down to nothing. And I'm gonna, when I tell you it was just a dribble of water I added, that's all I added. But I'm gonna add a dribble more because I'm busy with y'all. burn. Can't afford to lose anymore. All right, so let's make sure we got, okay, now we need our tahini, which is what we used to do um, our hummus. Remember, you want to stir this up really well. So it gives you a small spatula. Make sure you stir it up. Tahini is kind of like a nut butter but not as thick as like peanut butter or almond butter. But the oil does kind of, not exactly separate, but it's better if you just stir it together. So we're gonna do about a tablespoon of this. If you do a little more, a little less, it's fine. And I really like our stuff lemony, so I, I think I'm going to go ahead and use this whole lemon. Because what else am I going to do with the other half anyways? Right? And then you can put like a, just about a tablespoon because you want this not to be super thick. So we're going to hold off, but you can add a little wa water to it. Now you're going to add um, 
some smoked paprika. How much? Half a teaspoon. And half a teaspoon of chili powder. Michael, can you stir that for me? Mm. Smells good, huh? Mm -hmm. You think it needs more onions? Mm -mm. Salt, pepper, salt, and pepper. We're going to do about a half teaspoon of each of those. One, two. Didn't get to hear the loud blunder again? Yeah, but not a, not as bad or as long this time. All right, let's uh, go ahead and give this a whirl and see how much we need to, um, how much water we need to add. There's a little mixer. Oh, got to unplug my coffee pot. No, no, no. Well, somebody said it looks like a lot of work, and I told them it is. It's not one of our easy recipes we usually do. It's not really a lot of work. It's because I don't know about hearts, so I have to keep looking. And then I get a lot of questions about the website. I told them it's down for construction. I haven't worked on it. Sounds today. professional, though, doesn't it? And Michael, you started that? Yeah, and then everybody wants to know you're losing weight. Just being married to you, babe. All right, let's see. Another spatula here to make sure we get this all nice and stirred up, scraping that bottom. Let's give it another whirl. said, why haven't she mentioned why the website is down? And everybody's saying she has on multiple lives and earth. But I went on there and said, website down, LOL. It did not get hacked. It's because I did something to it. I went in the back end and I was pushing some buttons. And I don't exactly know what I did. Because I don't know how to work it. That's how that goes. Mm. Boy, that's good. It is a little lemony, but again, we like lemon. Okay, Michael. Let me try to get some of this out of the way. You can bring that pan. Bring it to you? Yeah. You want to put some under? Yeah. There you go. Set her down. Now we got a I'm little bit of this sauce. Bit. Yeah, you can turn it off. To our meat. It's really just kind of a binding agent. You don't have to do it this way if you don't want to. Ooh, looks good. All right, now I got some, excuse me, Bobby. Am I in your way, sir? I got some sesame seed brioche buns because that's the only brioche buns they had. You can get whatever soft roll you like. You're going to take a little bit of that sauce there and that is going to kind of be your dressing here. Mm. 
That brioche just really soaks up that dressing. Can y'all see what I'm doing? Nope. Okay. So I just am putting that dressing on there just like a mayonnaise. We're gonna take a little bit of our meat mixture, put it right on top. And then you're gonna take your fresh onions and you can add tomatoes to this little salad if you want to, but you see how, well, I guess you really can't see on there, but it's nice and kind of broken down. Put some of those on top just to give it a freshness and boom. Here you are, Michael. Oh. Thank you, ma'am. And it would have been enough for everyone mm. had I not had a little boo boo. You like it? Mm -hmm. Spicy. Spicy? I didn't put any spice on it. You put jalapenos on the meat? Oh, yeah. yeah I did. And I didn't de seed it either. Perfect but, like I said, use as much or as little seasoning as you want. Now, I this is kind of my own version of this recipe, but um, I did kind of do a little research and try to, you know. Before you make your... Oh, you already made yours. What? I was going to say, warm the bun. Warm the bun? I don't want my bun warmed. All right, that meat is really good, huh? You want another one? You like the fresh onions on it? Mm -hmm. The one thing about it is that that's the one thing I've ever, well, one of the things I've eaten, I made it really hard to put in my mouth. Okay, let's take it. And you can do this in a wrap too, like, or what is that, a pita wrap? Yep. Mm, that pita bread we got the other day was so good. Oh my god. That was so good. Now listen. It did have a lot of steps. I wouldn't say they were hard. But it did have a lot of steps. But I'm here to tell you. It was worth it. Now, I don't, um, I'll tell you my food is good when I eat it. This is just so good. I don't want to save any for the kids. I want to hide it from them. Oh, God. <laughs> it is good. And see, I don't like chicken shawarma, but I always thought it'd be good with beef, and I wonder why they never did beef shawarma. Well, mm, this is so good. For those of you who are saying you're not getting the notifications when I go live, make sure that you are still following because sometimes Facebook does some weird stuff and they kick you off. For no it's reason. like a Mediterranean quarter pounder. That's what it tastes like. Like somebody took a quarter pounder from like like a really good hamburger and made it Mediterranean. That's no. What it tastes like to me. This is probably one of the best things I've ever I've ever made. Oh. Mm. None of the rolls are here? No. Nah, the only one here is Ethan. Does he even like chicken shawarma? When we go to the Greek restaurants, he gets a burger. Yeah, he likes all this too. Oh my god. It's so good. I know. I'm eating with my mouth all full. I'm telling you, y'all have got to share these three videos because, God, that's good. This is really good. Well, look how humble you are. <laughs> humble schmumble. This is delicious. See, Teresa said her notifications were turned off. Who you calling? Yeah. I'm really full, but... Huh. Oh, God. Okay, so go back, watch the videos. I can't go through the whole recipe. Once I get the website up, it will be on the website. This one is the bomb. It is so good. I love it. 
I think it has just the right amount of kick. As far as spice. I don't know what he was talking about. Mm. That is delicious. You can eat it all alone, just like this. Kind of like a Mediterranean sloppy joe. Or you can have some hummus with it. I don't think I've ever been to a uh, Greek or Mediterranean restaurant where they didn't serve a hummus with it. But this is good, just like this. Oh, God. Mm. Y'all, this is really good. The website will get fixed. I've been kind of dreading it because I'm not good at website stuff. That and with doctor's appointments, all the stuff we got going on. I mean, like, like even like today, like we had that doctor's appointment. I have to sit on the phone forever waiting for IT to help. It's a nightmare. It's like going to the DMV, but on the phone. That was so good. Linda Joyce wants to know if it's good, Kelly. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it is delicious. Uh. Y'all, this one is really good. I could do this one for Christmas. For Christmas. Mm hmm. Gosh, that is so good. Mm. I know. We're going to figure out how to make a soup. Because this stuff is so good. Somebody said it looks like it'd be perfect on a Greek salad. Yes! And actually, there's somebody else named John. Hey, John. I uh, can't say her last name. Ooh, I'm going to try and murder it. All right, so anybody that's been on the page for a long time, we like to guess names and last names that we look really hard. We have a little John. So her name is John Sinat. Biscenza. Let me see it. I'm going to say Biscenza. It's this one right here. I'm going to say Biscenza. Whoa. Jean Sinat Biscenza. I don't know. Try it. Guess. Jean Sinat. I feel like that W is silent. Uh-huh. Biscenza. I don't know. But we have a little Jean... We call her Ronnie a lot of times because we used to call her Johnny Poo. And for whatever reason, my papa couldn't say Jean, so he would just call her Ronnie. So, what would you say it tastes like if you had to, like, compare it to something? Hold on. So, if you're going to describe it to somebody so that they would know what it tastes like. It definitely has all the Greek and Lebanese flavors. It It's just so good. Well, you said something about a sloppy joe. No, it doesn't taste anything like a sloppy joe. I'm saying that because it was messy to eat. Um, uh, Deb McGregor says, I feel like you're not ignoring... I feel like you're ignoring my question about my cookbook. I already, I already answered it. We just melted them out today. Uh, okay. What is the main ingredient? Uh, beef, onion... Beef and onion. That's the main ingredients. Gosh, it was so good. Whew. Man, I'm stuffed. I'm going to have to come back later and eat another one because that was delicious. Would be good on a Greek salad. It'd also be good on rice pilaf, however you say that. You know how you can get that in the Greek restaurants. It is so good. It, it is a lot of steps, but it's worth it. And I'm going to tell you, if I would have cooked more, well, I did cook more, but I had a little boo-boo and I burnt some. But I could cook a big, huge batch of that and just keep it in the freezer and then take it out on nights. God. The kids are going to love this, I think. I really think they will. I hope so, anyways. Actually, I hope they don't. No, I do. I think they're going to love it. Everybody's going to like it except for Camille. I don't know. Camille's our picky eater, but she does like Greek food, so. She loves the uh, chicken shawarma. And you could probably do this with chicken, too. Would it be good on potatoes? I'm going to say yeah. Oh, my God. I think so. Yeah. I think so. I, I don't know. I think it's just so good. 
Terry, when she came down here to visit me, she had never had Greek food, and we took her to a Greek restaurant. She loved it. So, for those of you who are scared to try it, go get you some because it is so good. It smells a little funny when you first walk in for the very first time, but when I tell you delicious, mm, so good. This one's a keeper. This one is a keeper. We might do some more of this type stuff. Are y'all actually going to make this? Or y'all, did y'all like watching this one? Let me know in the comments because, I mean, normally I do like typical home, what, what it? Easy meals. Well, a lot of times they are easy, but I usually do like, I don't know if it's soul food, what would you call it? Like just hearty family meals. But this one is, oh man, if I owned a restaurant, this would go in it. It is delicious. Very good. So, if y'all like, look, you know, trying these little different things. <sighs> okay, is it as good as the hummus? I don't know. That hummus was pretty doggone good. Um, yeah, I think it's... It's hard to compare the two because the hummus is dip. It's delicious. It was also delicious, but this one... Is like a hearty delicious because it's a meal. What what kind of steak did you use? Ribeye? I used ribeye. I, I mixed some ribeye, but it was too expensive to buy enough ribeye to go all the way around. So I used some chuck. Not ground chuck, just uh like chuck steak. They were called sizzle steaks. Would I add anything different uh to your meat? Well, I would pay attention and not fall asleep so you don't burn it. But um you could add another tomato in there if you want to, but, man, it was just so good just the way it was. Yeah, check the last uh, three videos. So, the first video I showed you how to make the marinade, and I let it marinate for 24 hours. Um, See, I don't know if you made German hamburgers. I haven't made German hamburgers, but I can look, I can look into that. So, I let it marinate for 24 hours, and then we cooked it today. Super easy. And then... Um, it's really too expensive to make this with all ribeye, okay? Well, I mean, it would be for me. So, you can use um, any cut of meat you want. You can use lamb. You can use uh, yeah, rib meat. You could do anything. It was so good. So good. So, you would eat the lamb, Michael? I bet you lamb chops like that would be good. Wow, we were both way off. So, she doesn't pronounce her name Jean. She pronounced it Jean Sinnott West Gina. Wow, that, I would have never got that. Yeah, me neither. I failed on one. Finally got one home. Never. Not even close. Okay, she said you can't find some of these things in Canada. Well, I mean, it was just onion and Greek yogurt, mostly. The, um, the seasonings, the sumac and the seven spice. Just look up sumac and seven spice. That stuff you can get, uh, you might have to order it on a, uh, Amazon. But, I mean, they'll last you forever, because how often are you going to use these, right? But, um, check and see if you have deer meat. Can you, somebody asked about venison. Probably so. You just got to be careful with it, because sometimes deer meat can be gamey. Um, so, you know, do your thing. All cooks have their thing where they make it not gamey. So, do whatever you do to make it not gamey. And then, yes, I think deer meat would work. Just, um, like, we mar we we soak ours in <clears throat> milk. I don't know if y'all do that. And I don't want to tell you to do that in case you have your own way. So, <clears throat> anything else? That was really a good one, y'all. I know it was a, a lot of steps, but um, we might try it again with some chicken. That was so good. Mm-mm, lamb if we did anything. All right, I'm going to get off of here. Um, go back and watch those other few videos, the last three or four videos. So I made the marinade, then we cooked the meat, um, and then this last one we made the sauce and put it all together. So very good. Yeah, I, lo I mean, look, everybody kind of cooks the same. And actually, like I told you the other day with the hamburger steak, 
when I made it. I never really make it twice, so the same exact way. I'm just kind of throw it together. So when you're in your kitchen and you throw it together, dinner, do not be afraid to just and see if it turns out. It probably will be just fine. It probably will be delicious. Okay, so let me get off of here. We make dishes requiring Christine said, any desserts? I hope so. Do dessert. Oh, gosh. Do dessert. Do dessert. Maybe. Do dessert. Won't you do dessert? Ooh, my back hurts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, we've been kind of slowing up on the desserts because you have to eat dinner, but, you know, our budget is so much for groceries, and they are super expensive right now. Whatever our grocery used to be, double it now. It used to be $1,000 a week. It's still $1,000 a week. That's our budget, but you just can't buy as much with that anymore. Baklava. Oh, that's good. All right. I'm going to go. See you guys later. I got dishes to do. Have a good one.